Boss says my wife being pregnant counts as a $6,000 raise. I talked to my boss about raise, because I was up for one, he said I earned it, but me getting married in January, increased his insurance payments for me by $500 a month, and our unborn baby will increase it another $500. So based on his math, if I were to hypothetically have 10 kids, I'd be making $60,000 a year more, without my actual salary increasing even a dime. You're applying for jobs with non assholes, I hope? When you find a new job and quit, make sure to tell him you're doing him a favor by quitting effective immediately and saving him x your salary. Get employers out of healthcare altogether. This shit is dystopian and honestly anti American AF. Freedom isn't just from government overreach and tyranny. Employers are far more involved in our everyday lives and wield entirely too much power. What a psycho. An employer being involved in healthcare is bizarre. Where I live my healed care is none of my employer's business. I assume you're in the US because from what I understand only that country has such an inhumane healed care system. I don't know there isn't a big push for change. I'm pretty sure it's a tax write-off for your employer. Tell him yes. But every day I don't run a rail spike through my hand in an effort to drive back the rage I save you millions in lawsuit payouts, not to mention the negative publicity, so even in fictional money I'm still underpaid. Yeah, I'm starting to see a trend where business is now gonna use their employees comp plan as a way to keep wages down. Companies. Just look what it's costing us. No wonder people don't wanna work anymore. So how much do I get if I make your wife pregnant? Boss my wife's pregnant. Congratulations Jimmy you got your raise for the year. What? No one wants to pay any more. It's sad we're at the stage where universal health care makes sense for literally everybody including both employers and recipients. The only stakeholders holding it up anymore are the insurance companies themselves even though single-payer models do not preclude private insurers it just means their business model changes. It's illegal to discriminate based on marital status or number of children. If he doesn't want to pay for health insurance, he should stop being a business owner. If you earned a raise and he refuses, time to start looking for a new job. It's a group plan so after a certain number, they aren't paying the dollar amount per person anymore. Your boss is full of hot air and wouldn't it be nice to have a public option. Congrats on the new baby. Hope your wife has a safe healthy pregnancy and delivery. Your boss is an asshole and the American healthcare system is a nightmare. See, what I'm hearing is that your boss just outright told you that he is denying you a raise based on a protected status. For the love of all things holy, get that in writing. Get that in writing. This is why we need national health insurance. Either go over his head or walk out. If you do quit, I'd write an email and make sure it gets cc'd to people above him, explaining why you quit. It would make him look really bad. Most likely nothing would come of it, but there's a small chance you could get called back and get your raise, along with your boss being put in his place by his boss. His logic is flawed. Health benefits are part of your compensation package but separate from salary. He's lucky you used less of the benefits before. He still owes you a raise. Having a kid is like the biggest anti-raise in the universe. Still worth it maybe? Brush up the resume and get the heck out of there. I think by the time you get to one or two kids, it's just a lumped family plan. Weapons grade bullshit, right there. You can't eat benefits. I've known managers who have provided better raises for employees with families over single childless workers. Different justifications, but mostly it makes an employee more responsible and stable with the company. You should look for a company that celebrates families. Your boss is a CT. That's like saying that becoming disabled and in a wheelchair is basically the same as getting the parking spot nearest to the entrance, because you now don't need to walk from your car to the door anymore. That's probably legal. 
Well I guess we'll have to work harder for Medicare for all, then won't we? Don't lose track of the issue that health care is unnecessarily tied to employment in the USA. Otherwise nobody would want to work. In other words, you are not getting that raise you are up for. Employers can think like that. I know those who offer paid sick and vacation leave and even insurance will add that in their accounting books to your annual salary. Say, bring home $35,000 a year and that's what we see. In their books they see the $35,000 a year plus your week s of paid vacation leave, week s of sick leave and their cost of your health insurance added on to the $35,000 and to them that is your annual salary. Look elsewhere he's a hole. Tell him you gladly accept that 6k raise per month and get it in writing. I first read the title as your boss was telling you that he wants to give you a 6k raise because your wife was pregnant. I was thinking what an absolutely considerate thing to do. Then I read the rest, angry face. He's actually a real douchebag. His cost of doing business is not your raise. These are different things. Just wait until he finds out how much it costs to replace you. Can't pay rent with a total rewards statement. Don't give any notice. This seems to be something that many Americans don't understand about healthcare. Your employer doesn't pay for your insurance. You pay for your insurance and it's managed by your employer as part of your salary package. Technically you're being paid the total of your salary plus insurance, you just don't see the insurance, because it's deducted before you are paid. Generally insurance only increases for kids versus no kids. Your insurance will cost the same with 10 kids as it does with one. It's nice that your company covers your whole family's premium. Many only cover your personal portion. I wouldn't say that should be used to make a case against giving you a raise. It's a program they offer to attract and retain staff that you are happy to finally make use of. Keep pushing for a raise. Don't let your boss end the conversation. Stay positive for now. As someone who deals with fringe, that is not how that works at all. It's employee, employee one, and then family. There is no $500 each damn kid. Also that is the cost of doing business. Is he giving all the people who don't opt into insurance coverage bonus checks? I bet he fucking does not. Edit also we budget for everyone to have family coverage when we budget out the position. What kind of stupid, shitty. Tell him you planned on having 22 kids but to help the company you'll make the sacrifice of only having two. Since you save the company 120k he should give you a 100k bonus. Is he stupid? Let me put it this way, if I leave now and go to another company which will pay me appropriately, how much money will you realize I make you presently? If you nut twice into a condom then he owes you a $12,000 raise. Once had a boss who declined my raise he promised me on the premises that it will take me into a higher tax bracket and therefore cost more more. Dumbass. Left three months later when his digital market I'm vendor decided I'd do better there. I did indeed do much better there. Whenever I learn something new about US healthcare, I am amazed at just how insane and dystopian it is. This is just straight up not normal. Why is your employer involved in your healthcare? Why do your cost increase when your wife is pregnant? This is insanity. And you guys are told that this is how it has to be. It isn't. There are other systems. They are better. Here in Germany, if my wife were to be pregnant, nothing changes. Neither for me, nor for my employer. Except that I can take a bunch of partially paid time of to care for the baby. Your boss is a jackass. I'm a very small roundabout way he is technically correct. I'm a more honest, real way he's a piece of shit and you should be looking for better opportunities elsewhere. At this point I have no faith these posts are actually real. So he's refusing to give you a raise because you're getting married and have a child on the way? That sounds like, sparkles, discrimination, sparkles. That's not how group coverage works on the employer side and you work for an abject asshole.